There's no denying that plaid is a hallmark of the preppy style. Plaid, or tartan, has so much history and it immediately looks really classic and really classy. So it fits right into that preppy style. In this video today, I'm going to show you how I incorporate plaid into my preppy wardrobe. I did include tartan in my preppy style staples video and I did get a little bit hoity-toity about whether it's called plaid or whether it's called tartan. I personally have always called it tartan and plaid to me just sounds a little bit wrong to my ears. It's a bit nasal, you know, it's like plaid. So I decided to look up the difference between a plaid and a tartan. A plaid actually refers to the pattern, it's the crisscrossing with the different colours and a tartan is a plaid that has a name. So on this one, I stand corrected and I guess you learn something new every day. Now just a quick disclaimer before we get into the video. As you can see, most of my plaid items are green and there's two reasons for that. Number one is that I have auburn hair. For some reason on camera it looks a lot darker but I do have auburn hair and when you have red in your hair, green is just, I mean it's an obvious choice. They just go really well together and sometimes you just gotta stick with the things that work, you know what I mean? And the second reason I have so much green is actually because I do have Scottish ancestry and my beautiful granny has given me some pieces from our family's clan. It is the Ferguson clan and as you can see, lots of green in this tartan too. So of course you can get plaids in lots of different colours. Beautiful reds, blues, greys, yellow, which always reminds me of Clueless. But there are so many plaids to choose from that will suit your personal colouring and your personal preference for colours as well. Well, and all of the styling tips that I'm including in this video will work for all different colors of plaid. Alrighty, let's get into the first tip to start incorporating that plaid into your preppy wardrobe. The first way to include plaid in your preppy wardrobe is super simple, a plaid scarf. I have this red vintage one on, so it's a little shorter than the scarves that you tend to see in the shops today, but it's still so beautiful. And the red plaid is just immediate Christmas vibes to me. So once you have your plaid scarf, I encourage encourage you to look at the colors in the plaid and sort of pick some out that you might like to accentuate. For example, I'm going to take the red and I have my little red beret here so I'm going to pop it on. And there we go, I've just tied it in and immediately, how cute is that? Now, I wouldn't go too overboard with this. You don't need a red bag and red shoes as well, but I have seen some girls do some really cool looks, really picking out the colors in the plaid. For example, they might wear a red sweater underneath and red lipstick with the red plaid. So there's lots of ways you can tie it in and incorporate it into your outfit. I also think a plaid scarf looks really beautiful under a coat or a jacket or a vest, just sort of peeking out the top there, just adding that little bit of prep to your outfit. Next up, we have the plaid mini skirt. And this is such an adorable way to add plaid into your preppy wardrobe. For this outfit, I've chosen the black out of the skirt. This plaid is, for me, it's sort of in between a plaid and a gingham print. It is technically a plaid though, because the lines are different. It's a plaid. But I've chosen the black out of the plaid and popped on a little black tie with this blouse which immediately gives preppy vibes. I love popping a bow on with a blouse, especially if there's a sweater over the top. It just looks adorable. But what you could do if you have a different colored plaid, for instance, if you're wearing a red plaid, you could totally wear a red ribbon or a red tie around your neck and immediately cute preppy vibes. So I've gone for a sort of 60s vibe with this silhouette of mini skirt, but you can get those mini skirts with the tartan that are sort of like a mini version of a kilt and you could totally make those look preppy as well but I would just be a little bit careful because some of them sort of swing towards that 90s grungy vibe and if you're into that all good but that's not really what we go for with the preppy style it's a bit more refined a bit more put together so if you do want to go for one of those mini kilt like skirts I would definitely wear it with something like a button up or a turtleneck and bring in other elements of the preppy style to really make sure that it doesn't swing towards 90s grunge the next item to include in your plaid preppy wardrobe is a plaid dress now subscribers of my channel are probably so sick of seeing this dress but I'm not gonna stop wearing it because 
because it's just so darn comfortable. It is just so easy to throw on and I really think it's because of the plaid that even though it's such a casual, easy dress, immediately I look a bit preppy, I look a bit classic. So I would definitely recommend getting yourself a plaid dress. Lots of companies do the plaid dress that is like a button down. I haven't seen many that have this beautiful tie around here to sort of cinch in the waist, but if you can't find one that has the built-in tie, I would totally just grab a ribbon that goes with the dress and pop it around your waist. I do that all the time with dresses that I want to cinch in. Now this is quite a casual plaid dress, but there's so many beautiful, more dressed up, going out evening dresses that are plaid too. Those always just remind me of beautiful Christmas parties, those dresses. And I just love it when they have the plaid with the velvet. Oh, just so, so adorable. Next up, we have the tartan kilt. And I can call this a tartan because it is that Ferguson tartan. So this one is the real deal, authentic kilt. But there's so many brands that do these midi length skirts with the plaid print on them. And you can, of course, buy yourself a kilt but you could also probably thrift one. I'm sure there's so many thrift stores with beautiful kilts going. So for this outfit, I've really made the kilt the focal point. I've just gone for a black sweater, black tights, and black heels. I'll do a little bit of a for you. <laughs> there you go. And I do feel like when you're wearing a midi length kilt like this, you could pair it with a pair of ballet flats, but I just think heels are best. It immediately elevates the look. I've also seen girls wear them with over the knee boots underneath. So the boots sort of go all the way up underneath the kilt. Not really my thing. I personally probably wouldn't wear that, but if that's your thing, I would totally go for it. It's one of those things where they look cute on other people, but for you, you're a bit like, I don't know if I could pull that off. And Kate Middleton actually has pretty much worn this exact outfit, except instead of the green kilt, she was wearing a red plaid skirt. The next item is a plaid coat. Now, my plaid coat is actually a puffer jacket, so it's a bit more of a casual vibe than if you were to choose a tailored coat or a wool coat, but this one is perfect for my everyday wear because puffer jackets are so, so warm. I feel like puffer jackets now that either athleisure wear or they're hiking, you know, outdoorsy type brands. And personally, I don't like to wear that around in my day to day. You know, I've got to have my little preppy vibe going. So having the plaid on the puffer jacket, super cute, super preppy. This one is actually from Brooks Brothers and I got it on sale a few years ago and oh my goodness, best investment ever. I wear it all the time during winter. So for this outfit, I've gone super simple. Black sweater, black jeans and black boots. My black cowboy boots actually, which I know aren't really like preppy preppy, but they're just a personal quirk. I just love the cowboy boots. You're never going to rip these off me, okay? But if you want to go for more preppy, then a pair of more traditional riding boots might be a good option for you. I'm actually going to take this off. <laughs> it's actually getting a little bit hot in here in this. Ah. Yeah, so I have my puffer jacket that is a bit more casual. I would love to get a beautiful, well-tailored plaid coat. Kate Middleton actually wears a lot of those style of coats and they are just stunner Rooney. Speaking of Kate Middleton, actually, if you love her fashion like I love her fashion, I have a video coming up on my channel, Affordable Brands That Kate Middleton Loves. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. And when you do subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified when the video goes up. The one plaid item in my wardrobe that I don't have but I see girls wearing and it's so so cute is a pair of plaid pants. Vineyard Vines actually had a few in their last winter collection and they were adorable. Are there any other ways that you incorporate plaid into your preppy wardrobe? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video please do press the like button. It will let YouTube know that you enjoy the video and will recommend it to other people who might enjoy it too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye! Oh